Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the video blog one more time, the Hoxton Trend. Guys, what I thought I'd do for you today real quick is I'll do the um, Montclair Himalaya um, jacket review because I had two Montclair Himalayas in. I had the one in like a dark, I can't really make out if it's black or like a really, really dark grey. So I'm going to go with dark, dark, dark grey charcoal top of colour. So I got this one in and I also had the one which I bought from Matches Fashion which is the yellow one um, and I had both of these in. I managed to source this one but this one I bought for myself directly from Matches Fashion and they're both in a size 2 guys so what I want to do is I want to do a real um, real quick review so that we can look at these in more detail okay so that's that one. Also what I've got planned as well is I've also got the um, Montclair Fake Vs Real tracksuit video come in. So I've got this tracksuit from um, eBay, I think it was like £70 or something like that. And if you look at the badge right there, you can see how bad that badge is man. I'm just going to show the tracksuit that I'm wearing, see if you can just see there real quick. Absolutely terrible man, the badge is so bad, so I'm looking forward to reviewing that. Um, so I'm going to be doing a fake vest review on that one. Also, what I've got and done as well is I've got a um, fake Stone Island tracksuit, guys. So that one's um, here but up on eBay. I think I paid like £70 for that one as well. What I've done is I jumped over to um, flannels.com and I bought um, a full tracksuit, full Stone Island tracksuit as well. So that's going to be coming real soon. So hopefully we can get that done during the week and we can spot what is fake and what is real. But hopefully the Montclair um, fake vest is real. That should be coming today, okay? So that's it man, if you were following me on the Snapchat yesterday especially I went into TK Maxx over in London, in central London in Monument and I went down there, I was just basically passing through, I didn't even mean to go down there but I saw the shop and I thought you know what, let's just go in there and see what's popping. So I jumped down in there and if, if you saw on the Snapchat I came across all types of brands man, I came across D Squared, I came across Fon Brown, they had some Versace, they had CP Company, I put it all on the Snapchat for you guys to go and um, um, have a look and see. So yeah, I don't know man, it was crazy seeing so many designer brands, but what I reckon they do is all the designers that they've got from different places, I reckon they send it to the central London store, because that's where the uh, all the city boys are, with people with lots of money, so they probably thought, let's put all these big boy designers down in that store. So I don't think that's available in all stores. So what I did, what I found out is some of the TK Maxx's, they have something called the gold section or the gold label. So if you're looking for some of those top designers, you need to find a TK Maxx that has a gold label section and that will have all the designers in it. So it's definitely worth checking on the website or calling your local um, TK Maxx to find out if they've got that um, section in there and you can find the designs in there, okay? So guys, that's it for the minute, man. And um, remember, Follow me on Snapchat, put lots of stuff on there. Follow me on the Instagram, I'm still putting all your pictures on there, so all that stuff is all good, okay? So that's it, man. Let's get on with this review, guys. Bam! Give me two seconds to prep up. Yo, what's going on, guys? Got all this stuff on the bed now, man, so I'm going to do this review as quick as possible. So as you can see, you got both uh, Montclair Himalayas here, man. Really cool jackets, really feeling both of these. Um, I think they're very, very similar to the Montclair Maya. So many people still keep asking me up until today for the Montclair Maya, man. And actually, I've actually got a fake vest with real Montclair Maya, so I've got to show you guys that one. We'll be doing a review on that later on today. But yeah, this is the Montclair Himalaya right here. As always, inside the jacket there will always tell you the name, so remember that, guys, Montclair Himalaya. You can see it right there. And if you look on the other side, we can see this is a post-2014 jacket. This is actually a 2015 jacket right here, guys, so you can see right there we've got the hologram code, so it's all blessed. Only issue with this one, man, it's a size 2, so size 2 is too small for me, man. Had this have been a 3, I definitely would have kept that one, but yeah. Unfortunately, it's a size 2. Size 2 is coming up at something like a um, 38 to 40 inch chest. And I'm kind of getting to more of a 41, 42, so yeah, that one is uh, that one is too small, unfortunately. Really, really nice jacket, man. Really cool. As I always tell people, what I tend to do as well is I just want to always loosen this up at the end. I don't like that to be too tight. But if you do like it to be too tight, like a bomber, just remember when you get home, just loosen it back up, guys, so that will be nice and flat. Because after a while, some of these Montclair jackets, you can start to be able to develop holes on the bottom here, and that's not a good look, okay? That's something to watch out for. Um, just have a look at the uh, yellow one right here. This is a limited edition colour, man, and I absolutely love this. Montclair have been doing this limited, limited edition colour for quite a while now, man. 
such a such a really nice piece this one um, all the studs there you can see are all engraved with Montclair as they always should again this is a post 2014 jacket so we've got the hologram code I, I keep saying this man but I've got to do a video where I kind of just dedicate um, looking at the hologram codes and how to find out if a jacket's fake or real and don't watch the glove guys man I mashed up my wrist so it's hurting me right now so I've got this little kind of glove here which just helps the circulation in my hand so if you're wondering why I'm wearing one glove that's the reason why but anyway you can see the badge right there man um, you can see the badge right there this one is just a little bit faded as they always should be okay um, difference between this one as well is the the hood's got this really nice black um, cotton detailing going all the way around it which is a nice standout touch I think and what's cool about this one as well is that the um, the um, zip track is all in black as you can see and as we know and love bam we've got the Lampo zip track there and I am starting to see some jackets now with the um, Vizlon jet zips so I got a new jacket in it was a, a Montclair Barriat that actually has the um, um, YKK Vizlon zips guys I will be doing a review of that jacket um, later on this week to show you but yeah Lampo zips on this one um, it's quite a light, this jacket is very very light but at the same time it's very warm, it's got some down insulation inside so it's nice and puffy as well. Really feeling the way they've done the stitching on the inside, you can even see there, really nice puff to it man. And as I always say to you guys, sometimes with these jackets, just give it a shake like that and that will just let all the air circulate in the jacket and just get it a little bit more puffy, okay? Top tip on that one. Um, so that's it really guys, nothing really to report, what I'm going to be doing is trying it on the side so you can see both colours in all of its glory. But yeah, Montclair Himalaya, I think this is retailing for something like 750 can't remember the price but I'll do some research and I'll put it in the bottom. Personally, so many people asking for the Montclair Maya now, and the Montclair Maya's got like a, sh a shiny finish, this one's got a bit more of a matte dull finish which I prefer now man, I, I would rather go for something like this than the Montclair Meyer personally. I think too many people have the Montclair Meyer. Don't get me wrong, the Montclair Meyer is still a very cool jacket, but people are going on like that's the only Montclair out there, and there's so many others which are cool as well. So sometimes it's definitely worth something to check out something else so that you're just standing out and being a little bit different. But yeah, that's both for the jacket, guys. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed the review. Um, let me know your thoughts on these. I've got the um, Fake vs. Real Montclair tracksuit video coming out tonight, so I will be doing that later on, okay? So that's that. I'm also going over to Frankfurt in two weeks' time, or about a week and a half. I'm jumping over to Frankfurt, so I'm going to be doing a uh, Fake vs. Real on that. Also, I'm going to be doing the editing for the Amsterdam video, man. I've got so much editing to do, it's just been absolutely crazy. So that's that. Remember, guys, follow me on Snapchat and follow me on the old Instagram. All the links are below, okay? Bow. That's that for now. Catch you lot in a bit. Peace out. Fake. There you go. Sorry, but your product is fake. And that's the only kind of differences. If you look at the back, I love it, man. I love seeing all of you guys different fits. My God. My stuff is kind of expensive, man. So people are probably thinking, damn, man, how the attachment which attaches the jacket up for you? Such a nice piece, this one, man. Anyway, moving on, man. One of my favorite jackets of my collection so far. It's a